Hello adventurers and welcome back to my channel. Today we are here in Branson and we're checking out a lot of bears. <laughs> like, ah! It's gonna be a cool adventure today guys. So if you are a person who enjoys bears or even has a hinkling of a fascination with finding out more, this is the video for you. started here. Boyd's draws collectors by the thousands to its new museum and store in the Pennsylvania countryside. Boyd's Bears are an iconic classic and they have become a collectible that has been passed down from person to person in families and now have landed in Branson. Now I can honestly say that I like bears but this takes bear loving to a whole new obsession. There are thousands of them here. And I mean thousands. Now typically my goal is to avoid bears because I camp and they're not a good thing. However, these are cute little fluffy happy bears and ceramic bears and all good bears. So instead of avoiding them, we're going to indulge ourselves in a little bit of looky-looing. There are bears for every occasion. And today we're going to see them all. Did you know there are birthday bears, Christmas bears, New Year's bears, patriotic bears? That's just to name a few. this. It looks like they're just having a joy jolly ride here in the carriage with the whole bear family. Isn't that cute? This is actually really cool though guys because it's hard to show you because the room's kind of kind of clustered here but as we move out notice this is a full size carriage and it is completely filled with bears. Bears, bears everywhere. And look at this. It's a Branson bear hat. No, like really, we could have our own Branson Bear hat and that is a consideration that I am making right now. But alas, I found the bunnies. Everyone here, I think that's tuning into my channel knows that I'm obsessed with bunnies and now we have found them. Sailor bears, patriotic bears, leather clad bears. I think this is aviator bears. There's a little bit of everything in a bear. Nurse bears, yep, check, 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 and check. There's even Eskimo bears and Native American bears. Military bears? Yep, they have those too. And not just one row, they have a couple of rows. Special edition camping bears? They even have a polar bear family that are perfect for Christmas. Don't think that they've missed on the panda bears. I think this guy right here has to be one of my favorites. He just looks so cute. Now, while we're looking at these cute little pandas, let's talk about why Boyd's Bears are so 
special. Boyd's Bears was originally founded by Gary M. Lowenthal and his wife, Justina Unger. They were the owners of an antique shop, which, although it was profitable, found it difficult to maintain inventory for well-priced antiques. So they decided to go out on a limb and do something different. They started selling antique reproductions. And the first bear was actually stuffed bear made for the couple's newborn son, Matthew. They began making and selling the stuffed bears and became known as Boyd's Bears. This here is the Casey Jones Cannonball Express with, of course, some special, special, special passengers. Now you might find a few bears in this assortment that look super familiar to you. And then there's also a little bunny that might pop out at the door there and kind of say hi, like, what's up? It might look a little familiar. Like the one in yellow back here, that looks like Paddington. You remember Paddington, right? The one just above the hood there, that's a Coca-Cola bear. Those are the ones that we always see in those super cute Christmas commercials. Lining all sides of this museum are bears upon bears upon bears upon bears upon bears upon bears upon bears. Oh yeah, and we can't forget this guy right here. Stand here for a picture of what you have? Of this guy. Now, I don't even come up to his shoulder. <laughs> He's that big. He just keeps going and going and going until he touches the ceiling. He is a floor to ceiling bear. And this is not a short room, guys. This set of bears was popular during the summer months because everybody likes some good summertime watermelon to cool off after a hot day outside. Who wouldn't love a good bumblebee bear? After all, bears like honey, right? These special editions right here are representing the Wizard of Oz. And in here we have Coca-Cola and M&Ms. Super cute. The fact is, it's hard to walk through this museum of all of these bears and not just smile. You can find something that's familiar to you from your childhood at some point in this place. There's so many cool pieces. You could literally spend hours browsing the cases. There are hundreds upon hundreds upon hundreds of bears. And I think these are some of my favorites, just because they're more like the outdoor bears that I see whenever I'm traveling. Just brings me to a happy place. I hope you have enjoyed coming with me to check out all of the bears. So many bears here in Branson. I'm going to call these the Branson Bears going forward, and I think you should too. If you happen to be in Branson, make sure you come and check this out. Really cool place to stop off. Tons of things to do here. And it is attached to another museum or two or three with lots of attractions. So until next time, guys, I hope you have a wonderful afternoon, morning, or night. Bye, guys. Now, just a couple of little tidbits for you. The Branson Bears that you saw inside of this museum are actually created by the same person that created the Teddy Ruxpin doll, which is really cool. So if you bring home a Branson Bear, you bring home a little piece of happiness. In the Bear Museum, there are over 40,000 bears, and they did come from one woman's private collection. I can't imagine having that many bears. Oh my goodness. But now they're here in Branson for us all to see and enjoy. So we would like to say thank you. Thank you, Branson, for letting me soak in all of those Boyd's Bears.